What's going on, gamers? Got an interesting video here by somebody that's really cool. He has the ROG Xbox Ally running on Linux. And you want to know what? This is crazy. Um, he's getting a 32%. Not everything service, but he's saying some games have gotten up to a 32% boost. Remember we've done this with the Steam OS before? Well, there's a thing where this guy has found a way to get that going. And it's giving him more stable frame rate and quicker sleep. And he's getting better responses. Now, does this mean that uh, in the future, if you have this consistently running, we'll be able to have everything that Windows has? Probably not. There's probably going to be some differences, but I don't know. Let's see. Down here, we have a couple games tested, and we're going to get into some to show you guys some videos here. Um, right here, ROG Ally X runs better on Linux than Windows. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 went from 47 frames to 62%. That's a 31.91% FPS plus difference. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 again. You see what I mean? 37 to 35. Hogwarts Legacy, 50 to 62. Hogwarts Legacy, 60 to 65. What we're seeing here, guys, is the watt pool power mode. That's why you're seeing that difference. Uh, going down to Hogwarts Legacy at 13 watts, you're seeing 38 to 37. You're only going to see this jump more when you're increasing the power mode. You know, like the power draw, like Switch only uses 10. You should think, Nintendo, you could do more. Give us an extra core and add in some more stuff. Free up more memory for not using the party chat because not everybody's going to use that. Like that Discord-like thing, and you can give developers more stuff. Definitely for people who's not going to use this. But these are things just to improve everything in general. We see this here. This is crazy. If you guys want to get some proof, we're going to be pulling up this video here in a second. So going down to the average FPS game for Linux versus Windows, you're getting an average of a 13.47% 13 13 increase, an average of almost close to seven frames per second. Obviously, you're going to see this higher percentage up there because they're increasing the draw power. But even then, in general, it just shows you that there's a lot of work to be done here. And that Windows itself is not a gaming operating system. You know what I mean? It's designed for office, business, and all this other stuff. So Steam was helping with that because, like I said, Microsoft is not the thing for gaming. It's going to be stuff more like Steam. And even Linux is better. Sony uses that. And, of course, Nintendo uses their own operating system. But all in all, there's nothing wrong with getting this, knowing that you could get better performance. And there's ways to do it and just maybe give it a test. Uh, obviously, you're going to be a, a, a little bit need to be a little bit knowledgeable about this. And this is what I mean by like, this is not that type of console experience to be able to do this. No, this is stuff that you would do on a PC. So let's get into this and let's see what he has to say here. I mean, so I got Bazite to run on the Xbox Ally X and it had some problems at first, but the Bazite team in one day fixed most of the bugs. So where we now have this seamless Steam Deck like experience running on this handheld. The performance- Get off my screen with that. This is insane. I'll show you here in a sec, but there's other things that Linux has to offer that can make the Ally X an absolute beast of a handheld. And if I want to play Battlefield 6 with Kenneth and the boys, I can switch between SteamOS and Windows Winner. You guys see that? Let's see if I forget real quick. Windows, Fedora, Enter Setup. Please select boot device. This is the dual boot we were talking about that may happen with the next Xbox console. Possibility, but. If you want to know what dual boot is, it's right here. So. Whatever I want. So I have that Windows accessibility and the Steam Deck like convenience. The first thing I want to mention about putting Linux on this Xbox Ally is I would classify it, and I think most, most of us would classify a good handheld as something like a book, right? A book, you know, you can take that thing anywhere you go. You don't have to worry about battery. And when you open the pages, the words are crystal clear. But most important of all, this is Ruby and she wants to go potty and I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. All I do is I press this button, boom, I go take her potty and right when I come back, I press the button again and I'm exactly where I left off in just seconds, right? So going- Exactly, because that's designed for gaming, you know, specifically. Whereas like Windows is like, no, because Windows pulls, Windows pulls up, definitely Windows 11 has to pull up all the stuff that it needs. And, and they're not going to take that, you know, away like that. They'll try to maybe make it closer to it, but you're not going to get that with that. Linux and uh, Steam OS will be better than even the way Nintendo has their OS because it's specifically designed for that. Windows is so much more than that. So that's why you're seeing that. And of course, there's going to be blunt with that, whereas they can remove all that mostly with this and give you a closer experience. Obviously, it is getting better, but this right here is actually awesome in and out of your game is super freaking fast whereas on windows when i want to take ruby potty 
I have to press it and I've got to give it a couple seconds because the cooling, it's still running pretty quick, you know. And then finally it turns off. I take a potty, I come back, I turn it back on and I've got to wait another 15-ish seconds and I have to log back in with this log screen. And sometimes the game controller support stops working. Sometimes it just crashes. You know how it goes, right? And the biggest thing is it's a handheld, right? So now you know that's Microsoft, what I tell you. It's all about playing conveniently. And so this is extremely important. Just like a book, you open and you close, you open, you close, you open, you close, you have a bookmark so you never get lost. That's what I mean. So aside from the sleep stuff, we all get it if you're familiar with handhelds. So I ran some uh, frame rate tests to see what the performance is like when you, with Bazite compared to Windows straight out the box. And there's some freaky crazy numbers in here. But before I show you numbers, I want to give a shout out to Charge. They hooked it up. Shout out to Charge. Their stuff is freaking sick. Oh, I've nice. been using their Shargeek 170 and it's been insane for traveling or being on the go for both my handhelds and my phone. With the total of 24,000 milliamps in these batteries, I'm able to power my Steam Deck or ROG Ally for extended periods without worrying about running out of juice. I can easily- This guy's over here being a damn wizard. Really charge my phone and laptop simultaneously with two USB-C ports and a USB-A port, so there's plenty of connectivity for all my devices. The output hits up to 170 watts, so even high-power devices charge at full speed. So yes, the ROG Ally X will have 30 watt turbo mode. When the power bank itself runs low, it charges back super fast, so up to 100. Now be careful with that when it comes to heating and stuff, guys. That's all I have to say. You never know. Uh, because the way they design things, if you do want to go past that, you could maybe burn your shit. I, I'm just saying, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just, I'm just giving you a warning because I've heard some things about that. So honestly, I, I, I would, pref I'd probably stay in this range and maybe this would probably be the most you probably want to go. Just saying, you know what I mean? Cause you know about watching the power supply. You know what I mean? For a computer, don't go bad. You might blow that shit up. You know what I mean? You never know. Uh, so be careful with that. He knows what he's doing, but don't just do that out of nowhere. Just, you know. Look into things more. 140 watts in, that's zero to 50% in about 20 minutes. So it's perfect for like quick little refill pit stops. What really sets it off is the design. Transparent freaking prism cyberpunk look, plus a smart this is display. Cool though. So you actually see what's going on with the charge. And it's airline safe, water resistant, and even has a low current mode for earbuds and watches. Basically, it's just the one power bank that keeps all my handhelds, all my computer stuff, everything alive when I'm on the move. I've it. put the link in the description below. Check out their stuff. They have crazy accessories and I love these things. I freaking love them. Um, but thank you, Charge. Thank you. Okay, ready? Kingdom Come. Let's see what's on my Charge. S-H-A-R-G-E. Like a charge, but you put an S there. Deliverance 2. Such a good, beautiful game. If you really want to get lost and sink hours into something, 17 watts okay on windows we were getting about an average of 47 frames per second and then all of a sudden i boot into steam os and with the exact same settings at 17 watts we're getting 62 frames per second and it's telling us we've got this much more battery left how freaking cool we've, we're getting almost 11 to 12 to 13 more frames per second on mm -hmm. bazite compared to windows also, you guys don't have to sub if you don't want to sub, but if it's your vibe, it's your freaking vibe. But, uh, and then I've set it to 13 watts. 13 watts is if you really want to conserve energy. And Windows is at 35 frames per second. Steam is at 37. Not a big deal. For this time of year, this game is amazing. Hogwarts Legacy at 17 watts, which is performance mode. Windows is getting 50 frames per second. And Steam is getting 62 frames per second. Okay, the exact same everything. Yeah. 35 yeah, watts. Issues, man. Windows is getting 60 frames per second. And Steam is getting 65. And then if you do 13 watt, it's the same thing, right? 38 on Windows, 37 on Steam. So you can see there's at that 17 watt, that middle point, there's a big difference in performance. And keep in mind, guys. And you guys can come right here for it. Like I said, it's right here. It's on Tom's hardware. 
right over here. Progress logic one's better on Linux than the Windows. It ships with new tests show up to 30% higher FPS for more stable frame rates and quicker sleep for sometimes. But you can literally go down here and find it, look on that video. And then if you want to go to the page, it is here, obviously. Uh, he did that five days ago. I've never saw this, honestly. So, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to give me a like. I think a lot of people will probably want to be interested in something like this if you are a PC gamer, you know what I mean? Because, um, yeah, that type of stuff is just pretty awesome. But uh, let's go back down here and finish this. I'm not the Fox. I'm not ETA Prime. I'm not the best at the freaking benchmark crap. This is just me showing you what I've experienced. Another huge thing I'll mention when it comes to their performance, there, when you're on Windows, like your frame rate will go from 47 to like 58, and then it'll jump back down to 52, and then go down to 39. It like goes up, dun, dun, dun. you know, you look around, you look behind you, and all of a sudden, it goes back down and comes back up. With SteamOS, with Bazite, it is literally just like a, a straight line, right? So that I'll tell you that I'm noticing much more stability with the performance on Bazite. Yeah, so I wonder who's going to be interested in this. Let me know what you guys think about this. Obviously, this is not a huge product that's going to sell. But for those that have it and those that are just probably interested in just even watch cool stuff like this, just so you could see how much better Steam is. Uh, and all that other stuff in Linux. Hey, man, there it is right here. Compared to Windows. I'm not kidding you. I was on a call with Antheus. Antheus is one of the boys that puts Bazite together, fixes things. He's done a lot for Bazite. And literally, we just sat there on FaceTime, and I would start doing things. We'd find bugs, and then he'd instantly start typing in code, doing this and that, pulling this from here, pulling da da da, swapping this. And he would fix it, push out an update. We would update it, and then boom, the problem would be solved. And we find another bug. So now what you have is literally an almost perfect functioning version of Bazite. Um, the LED lights that still has to be fixed, and probably is going to be fixed by the time this video is uploaded. To be honest, um, we're so they're still trying to figure out what to do with the buttons up here. And you can do your TDP slider. You can change this, the wattage. All of it is. That is going to be a problem because now you're not going to have the Xbox full screen experience. You know, you have to go to Game Pass to use Game Pass. You know what I mean? So that type of stuff, obviously, this is where I'm like, yeah, you could use that for certain things that maybe you might buy or something. And most people that get Xbox or use it, they're not really looking to buy much, honestly. Uh, but if they might, they might. You know what I mean? Most people want to use Game Pass. So that is something to consider as well. Obviously, you can't fully go there and stay there because of that. Uh, definitely, if you want to use Game Pass, you know what I mean? No, you have to use Microsoft for that. Uh, but this is a cool alternative for games outside of that, which I think is pretty cool. Or stuff that you have out of that, if you have that active, could you try that in a uh, dual boot mode? But obviously, you would have to pay for whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked into that yet, but we'll figure You guys let me know. Somebody will probably figure that out. Just working really well. There's nothing I can do on Windows, right? Like, you know how this goes. You mm -hmm. have the compatibility. If you want to mod your games, you know, you you can do it all. Play your Xbox Game Pass games, your Epic okay, games. Okay, yeah, you can. But then again, you know, I'm like, all right, this is a handheld at the end of the day. I want to take it with me places. I have to go to, to the airport. Because I think, oh, yeah, that's their operating system. You can't have them. You know, yeah, it's, it's not going to work. That makes sense. Or tomorrow, um, I'm going back into Steam OS. So all you do is you just power it on, press the volume up button, and then boom, you can choose Fedora, boom, right? And now I have this beautiful handheld experience it's like a switch it's like an xbox it's like a steam deck mm -hmm. another thing I'll, I'll mention real quick is after installing bazite onto this handheld with the controllers and everything like with the the form factor man this this handheld is so cozy it just it it hits different because of the form factor like like hogwarts legacy man i was just tucked in my bed like super nestled up there were you know, the leaves are, the fall leaves are changing outside, but like, was just running so smooth with Hogwarts Legacy on Bazite. But yeah, ba I know it was a quick one. It's a rusty video. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and freaking rips on the ally. So there we have it, y'all. We pretty much have it. This just popped up. It's long. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I just seen this. Uh... You have some options here with games that probably you want to own that you could get better 
experiences on. So there we have it, y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this. That's cool, but remember, when it comes to Game Pass and all that, there's not much you can do about that. But this is cool options. You know, just, just another thing here to uh, highlight. Obviously, this was a negative video. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me put this up, because this actually tells you a lot about uh, what type of bloat you're really dealing with. Later, y'all.